Props here on Prize Picks for Sunday, January 1st. Happy New Year to everybody that is watching this video. Before I get started, there's a link in the description below to sign up for Prize Picks, or you can use promo code TUFF to sign up. Prize Picks will match 100% of your first deposit. There is also a Discord link in the description where the main server is completely free, as well as Patreon link where I do post all the plays I'm making on Prize Picks for each given sport that I do play. Again, I'm not a gambling expert. This is not financial advice. These are simply just the plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully, give you guys some insight and analysis to make your own player prop decisions here. But let's get into it, you guys. We got Sunday slate, pretty massive slate. Uh, all the games here are on Sunday. Um, at the time of me recording this video, there's not a ton of player props on the board here. But due, due to some traveling that I'm going to be doing, I uh, had to record this video at this current time. So let's get into it, though. Uh, two props that I do like. First one is going to be Tom Brady over 285 and a half pass yards here against Carolina. Now, this game is essentially for the division championship or to win the division between the Panthers and the Buccaneers. Um, obviously, it's more of a championship for the Buccaneers. If they win, they win the division. Um, they get that fourth seed in the playoffs, which is absolutely crucial for you know a team led by Tom Brady, who's definitely trying to make a, a run this season. Um, Buccaneers offense as a whole has been pretty disastrous. And if we take a look at this, Tom Brady has only hit this one time in his last four games. But I wanted to, five games, sorry. But I wanted to take a look at a few things. So Tom Brady game log this season. Um, this game is a home game, by the way, for uh, Tampa Bay. And Tom Brady hasn't thrown less for less than 258 pass yards in any home game. So 258, 271, 280, 281 in these four home games. And then his four highest uh, passing total games this season, uh, 312. 325, 351, 385, all at home here for Tom Brady, which is somewhat interesting. And then he also threw for 290 against Carolina earlier this season, which is what this matchup is talking about right here at 285. Now, Tom Brady, like I said, versus the Panthers in his career, um, I guess essentially with the Buccaneers. He said this in his last two outings um, last season in a similar matchup late season versus Carolina. He went 29 for 37 and threw for 326 yards here. So that's also a positive sign for us here uh, for Tom Brady. We just saw last week Jared Goff throw 355 pass yards against Carolina. In Carolina, he went 25 for 42. Um, I mean, I can see Tom Brady throwing 40 plus passes in this game. Uh, we saw Carolina run all over Detroit. I think maybe Detroit, uh, Carolina has a chance to run the ball uh, pretty easily against Buccaneers as well. But I definitely think Tom Brady's going to throw 40 plus passes in this game, 285 and a half. Um, just seems about right here for Tom Brady. I think he can get to around 290, 295 pass yards here against Carolina in a must win game for the Buccaneers. So, this is the first play that I'm looking at. Uh, the second play that I'm targeting here for Sunday is going to be Cam Akers over 66 and a half rush yards uh, against the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, I think this might be the first matchup that we've seen between these two teams, LA Rams versus the Chargers um, in Inglewood and SoFi Stadium versus each other. Uh, but Cam Akers has kind of slowly but surely become that bell cow back here that the Rams have kind of been looking for all season from him. Um, four straight weeks, 17, 12, 12, and 23 carries last week against Denver. Just absolutely monster week for him. 23 carries, 118 rush yards, and three rushing touchdowns along with two receptions for 29 yards. Um, I definitely think Cam Akers is looking to, you know, build on top of that performance heading into the offseason with the Rams, you know, questioning on whether or not they're going to keep him as their running back of the future. But he gets an elite matchup here against the Chargers, giving up 5.8, 5.48 yards per carry, the most yards per carry to running backs in the NFL. Absolute smash spot here for Cam Akers. Um, we see running backs this season against the Chargers have four, Derrick Henry, Pacheco, James Conner, and Josh Jacobs have all cleared 100 plus rushing yards here against the Chargers. Elijah Mitchell, 89. Uh, just last week, Zach Moss had 12 carries for 65 yards. I can see Cam Akers in this game probably getting like 15, 16 carries. Um, I know the Rams probably want to keep the ball out of Justin Herbert's hands in that explosive offense that the Chargers have. So I like Cam Akers here over 66 and a half first yards against the Chargers. These are the two player props here that I'm targeting for Sunday, January 1st. Again, let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about these two plays. Tom Brady over 285 and a half pass yards and Cam Akers over 66 and a half rush yards. Drop a like on this video, hit that subscribe button. And as always, let's cash.